First at 11, a South Florida family tragedy. Three women killed, a missing family member found dead, and a baby, just one week old, still missing tonight. An Amber Alert for that infant boy remains active statewide right now. Authorities now holding on to every bit of hope tonight that the innocent newborn will soon be found alive. CBS 4's Amber Diaz is live at the murder scene in southwest Miami-Dade with an update on this desperate search. Amber. Good evening, she both. Yes, such a tragic loss today once again. And now the family has been gathering outside a home here in Southwest Miami Day, mourning the loss of these three innocent women. They're asking for their privacy at this time, but they're also asking for one more thing to find baby Andrew. After a 24 hour search, police discover the body of 49 year old Ernesto Caballero, shot dead inside a white van along Interstate 75 in Blanton. According to police, he took his own life. Investigators have been looking for him and his one week old son since yesterday. That was after they found three of his family members, including the mother of his newborn son, dead inside his Redlands home. Now the search is on for baby Andrew. From 75 to the location, we're trying to see if there was anything that was uh, tossed out the window, any evidence, any signs of this little baby. One witness tells police they saw a blonde woman inside the van, and now they're praying the baby is safe. If that woman is out there, if there's anybody, if that is a true fact, and that woman is out there, please come forward. I promise you, all we care about is that little Andrew is okay. Investigators spent the afternoon combing over land in Forest Street in Pasco County, going over every square inch of land they can. We had the bloodhounds out there searching. The bloodhounds hit nothing. There was no indication that the child was in the area. Meanwhile, family gathers outside a home in Miami-Dade. They're asking for privacy, but wanted to share this message through a GoFundMe page they created for the women. A loved one writes, on January 28, 2020, 10 days after baby Andrew was born, he lost his mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother to a senseless act of domestic violence. Three generations of brave women were slain protecting the newborn's life. And to contribute to that GoFundMe page the family has created, you could just head to our website at cbsmiami.com. For now, we're live in Southwest Miami-Dade. Amber Diaz, CBS4 News Tonight.